This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Christopher Intagliata. Standing in line at passport control isn't the most relaxing experience. The officer looks at your passport, at you, back at your passport, back at you. Kind of nerve-wracking. But put yourself in their shoes for a sec. They're trying to figure out if your face is actually the same one as that little thumbnail image on the page. It's not the easiest task. People are often surprised at how poor they are. David White is a cognitive psychologist at the University of New South Wales in Australia, and he's even tested Australian passport agents at the task. Their performance was no better than a group of untrained university students. In his latest study, White and his colleagues investigated how poor sleep, less than six and a half hours a night, might affect facial recognition. Turns out, bad sleep did indeed lead to more wrong answers on a face-matching task. And study subjects suffering from insomnia, meaning poor sleep plus other symptoms like anxiety, scored badly too, compared to well-rested subjects. But here's the twist. When they made errors, people in this insomnia group, they actually had higher levels of confidence. They were more sure of their wrong answers. The results are in Royal Society Open Science. To avoid these kinds of errors, White suggests security organizations pay more attention to which employees may be sleeping poorly. That's more a sort of everyday occurrence, I suppose, for uh, certainly new parents or people that may have their sleep disrupted, in fact, through shift work, which is very common in these security and forensic settings. And that they screen staffers for signs of insomnia and consider assigning those officers to different jobs that don't involve scrutinizing faces all day. Both precautions that may help the rest of us sleep a little easier, too. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Christopher Intagliata.